Hey guys, it's Jotezi here, and this is another hybrid squad builder from me. Um, I like I said, like I said before, like my teams are quite cheap to make because I don't have that much money, so I just deal and make a good team of what I've got, and I usually seem to play pretty well. But anyway, I start with the goalkeeper, which is like a Casillas. Uh, people have said that he's not that good. I disagree a little bit. Sometimes he does like amazing things that no other keeper in the game would do, and then sometimes he just messes up completely. Like for instance, a power shot, he never save those. That's always what happens to me. And uh, in this video, if I take pauses, um, it's because I've got a really bad throat at the moment. So, like, if I mess up a word or something, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, um, the right back is going to be João Pereira from the Portuguese league. He's he's a pretty decent uh, right back. So, it's going to say keeper then. Um, there's an informed version, but I'm not paying 70k for him due to the fact that he was in the first team of the week. So, I doubt he's very good at all, and he shouldn't be worth 70k. Anyway, the right, the first centre back is going to be um, Pepe from Real Madrid, and uh, I've had some problems with this guy. You see, he's pretty quick, so that's always a good uh, bonus. But um, he makes the stupidest mistakes that are imaginable. Say someone does a through ball over the top, and he's the last defender. You try and header it back to the keeper or something. Here, mate, the ball will only go like three feet, and then the striker just run onto it, and they've scored, which is what's happened to me a couple of times. Uh, the next centre back. It's going to be from the Spanish league as well, or else I could see this one get the nine ken because he's in the wrong formation. That's Gerald PK, and uh, he hasn't got he hasn't got much pace on him, but he seems to be a lot quicker than he is. He's been able to catch up with players like El Shirari and uh, Constangs Constaglios or whatever his name is from Inter Milan, the Dutch striker. I might, I might be Greek, I think it's Dutch though. And um, he's a brilliant centre back. I've never had him before, so I really did like him. And uh, left back is oh sorry he's not spanish uh he is portuguese also and um he is from the portuguese you know he's from uh, the spanish league again fabio Coentra, and he's got an inform which i did want to pick up but i don't have enough money and he, his inform looks really good uh, he's already got pretty decent stats all there all above uh, 70 so that's something to look out for on the left back or right back meaning they can shoot and pass and do everything you really want now we're going to go to the left mid and um it's, he is portuguese again and that is uh luis nani from man united uh, five star skiller, uh, pretty good stats all round. He's basically he's not greater version of his 85, which makes him basically the same as in form. So he's probably got a lot of hidden stats in him. I haven't actually looked. Uh, centre mid, and this is the main reason I made this team. I didn't realise there was a informed version of this guy, and uh, that is Deco. And um, yeah, this guy's been, he's a bit of a legend. He's not like known as one of the best players around, but he uh, he's done some pretty good things in his time. He's played for clubs like Chelsea. I think he played for Real Madrid. I know it might have been as Barcelona. Sorry, and uh, he's four star skill, pretty good free kicks, eighty seven passing, eighty three dribbling. He can he's got a decent shot on him. But I just really wanted him for this team because I didn't realize there was an informed version. And uh, the centre mid. It's going to be João Martinho. Uh, all good stats, all above 70 there. Pretty good shot, good passing. He's got a uh, purple um, in form from the Euros, I think. But I could not afford that. <laughs> so I've got the normal version, which I'm guessing is probably just as good. Anyway, the right mid. Uh, this is another reason I made this team, is to get him in it, and that is Hulk. Now, uh, he, hasn't, he isn't a 5-star skiller. I think he's a 5-star skiller in FIFA 11. But... Uh, his Ronaldo chops and the skills he can do with him are really good. So that's why I enjoy him. And he's got a deadly free kick as you'll see in one of the clips I'll show you after I've done this. Now, uh, the striker. He's one of the weak links of the team. Lima. I really don't like this guy. Um, I don't know if there's another Brazilian striker from the Portuguese league which is better than him. Um, but I really do not like Lima. And the amount of time it took me to actually find a 4-4-2 version was stupid. Same with Deco. Finding the 4-4-2 centre mid version was near, near on impossible. I had to buy a 4-4-2 card. Luckily they're pretty cheap now. Only about 4k for a 4-4-2 card. But anyway, the striker. Um, it's going to have to be from the Brazilian league. Or Brazilian. And uh, we do have the Edson. Now, I've heard people say he's a terrible player. And um, I have to disagree. He's one of the few players I actually really liked in this team. There's something about him. Four star skill, he feels a lot quicker than 83 pace, and he's got a rocket shot on him. And I really did enjoy using him. But um, this is a team you can swap around Lee Edson for uh, Raphael Sobis. I don't know if that makes Nani go on seven chemistry, I'm not sure. But yeah, uh, Sobis plays for the same club as Deco, so you get the app, you get the really bright green link, and you get the link with Lima as well. Um, and you could swap Carvalho 
uh, with PK, so that means there would be no dead links if... No, there would be still dead link up front. But you could have Cavalio next to Pepe, and that would uh, also work pretty well. But anyway, we're going to go into some clips now. I'll talk to you in a minute. Anyway, uh, these clips are basically just goals that I've gotten. Um, I played about five or six games with this team, and I really enjoyed using it. Lima, I don't know why. he. The clips that I've got here, most of the goals are actually him, but it's just something about the guy. I don't know if it's the fact that I think he's got 82 pace. Uh, I'm sorry, but I, I, it's just he doesn't feel like 82 pace. He feels like he's about 70. The Edson's got 83, and he feels so much faster. He's only got one more pace in him, and uh, the Edson's the fourth, got four star skills, so that's always a good thing. While Slima's only got three, so basically you can just pull out a roulette and a foot roll with him, and that's about it. Also, the Edson's got a really good finesse in him, as you'll see here. I know it's an open net, but still managing to get it in from there is pretty hard. And uh, Lima's finesse isn't that good either. Lima's good point, he's got a good chip on him, and he's got a really powerful shot. I like that. And here, Jan Martinio gets the rebound there, which I thought was pretty amazing how he managed to get that in. I think the keeper helped him quite a lot. And uh, there's Deco's free kicks, which are also pretty good. I like those. I use Deco for close range and Hulk for 30 yards plus. And um, yeah, Lima's chips. I got two chips here in the same game and they're really good. It's a bit laggy as you can see, but yeah, um, that's what I really like about this team. Anyway, this has been the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.